Hey, this is Marginoni. Here's some comic reviews for you today. We got Old Man Logan first. Uh, this actually wasn't too bad. It was basically Logan basically taking some time off. He's going back to where he used to live in his timeline. And he's looking for somebody specific. Unfortunately for Logan, somebody else is looking for him. And it's setting its stage up for some really decent action coming up. Uh, the artwork is fantastic. Storyline was decent overall. I like how he's in the X-Men team for the all new X-Men but I also like how they put him off to the side so this way he can explore this new world at his own pace overall it's, uh, Old Man Logan's been a decent read and I've been enjoying enjoying this a lot Standoff Omega One is one of the biggest failures of a crossover I've ever seen in my life okay yes they've had some big things in here big concept uh, in which S.H.I.E.L.D. is basically brainwashing the villains using the Cosmic Cube into making them think that they're somebody else, making them forget they have powers. They do the same thing to the heroes. The heroes escape. Everything falls apart. And instead of being like a really well-thought-out, well-crafted ending, it's basically Avengers attack. And it's just a bunch of heroes just fighting. You know, just busting out fighting. And... To me, that was just like, oh, we don't have that much time. How do we end this? Oh, big fight. Yeah, that's right. Um, we do have the setup for Thunderbolts in here. And also there is um, a superhero brought back from the dead. Overall, this was... Um, oh, and Steve Rogers also becomes young again. Overall, though, I would say this book was just... This miniseries could have been, should have been handled differently. Uh, I don't think they did this themselves justice on this, and it's a shame, because it was pretty piss poor. Okay, Doctor Strange number seven. Now, I did like this, you know, other than compared to the Books of Magic one. Uh, the art's great, Aaron's doing a great job, and we get a, the secret origin of the invading force who's destroying the magic uh, they're basically using science to defeat magic and overall this was great i i really liked it you know it, you really get the sense of magic is on the ropes uh like will they survive type thing great aaron did a great job with this great cover uh wonderful wonderful story and we finally have Amazing Spider-Man number 11. The I can't believe it's finally over battle with Scorpio and the Zodiacs. Basically, the only way that they could actually beat Zodiac is they had to pretty much remove Gemini out of the equation. Luckily for them, Spider-Man and Mockingbird, that happens at the right moment. And Spider-Man just goes and does his spider things. Now, this issue also, we finally learn what Zodiac is after and there's like a doorway that the key opens that allows him to see one year in the future and in that time that we get he's there at the doorway we get to learn what's coming down the pike so to speak and for the most part there's I don't think there's really many surprises other than there's maybe a couple of them that um, that they're throwing like future plot points like they go oh that's where Osborne is and stuff like that overall though I'm not happy, uh, but I also think at the same time this book could have been a lot worse. I I just I don't know what it, I don't know what's missing. You know, it's to me it doesn't seem like Peter Parker. It doesn't seem like Spider Man, and it seems like International Iron Man Spider, and it just doesn't. It's not that great. And I'm not really looking forward to the next round of battle between. Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus, because that's also coming. But anyways, yeah, that's all I got to say about this. It's just a disappointment, but it's more of a disappointing series. Um, we'll have some more reviews and stuff later. I got some manga, and I finished uh, one of the mangas. Today. And uh, we'll have some more uh, reviews and stuff like that. And uh, like, share. Let me know what you guys picked up, what you guys liked. And we'll have more stuff later. So until next time.